Yes, ladies, the pussy passes over. So we're going to call this, okay? I'm going to call this the pussy passes over. I'm going to say that actually with pretty good reason, okay? Two teen girls arrested for bullying in Galesburg. That's right. You know, for years, we've seen nothing wrong with teaching boys and girls when they went to school with how boys don't hit girls, boys don't hit girls, boys don't hit girls. Okay? We see nothing wrong with bringing a gender into it instead of teaching one another you don't hit one another. We could bring a gender into it and teach only one that we don't hit the one. That way the one that don't get hit can hit all at once. Okay? And, uh, this is a prime example of that. And this is actually something that's been needed to happen for a long time. Okay, and I want to see this happen a whole lot more. That's right, this needs to happen a whole lot more so that we can put a stop to the pussy pass. That's right. Two teen girls arrested for bullying. Was the punishment too harsh, see? This is where people try to say, oh, it's too harsh because they have a vagina between their legs. But no, it's not too harsh because as we go on with the story, if this was flipped around, and it would have been two boys that did this to a nine-year-old girl, nobody would be questioning is the punishment too hard. The only reason somebody wants to throw a question is the punishment too hard is because they have vaginas between their legs. That's an all lie. That's fact. The only reason anybody ever made that statement is the punishment too hard is because of vaginas between the legs. Which is complete hogwash, but we all know that's what the fucking truth is. And that needs to come to a flying fucking stop. Anyhow. Police in Galesburg tell us charges charging young teens with felonies for bullying is rare. But that's what they've done after an incident last week. Now, two 13-year-old girls who are charged with serious charges were talking about, okay, we are talking about felony, okay, indictments, mob action, and battery. That's right, felony indictment, mob action, and battery. Police say it happened in H.T. Custer Park in Galesburg. The girls are accused of slapping a nine-year-old boy and beating his bike with a baseball bat. Two, two of the families are talking tonight. When he come home he said the girl came up to him, to him slapped him in the head and also broke his bike that he wanted to press charges said the mother of the nine-year-old boy so thirteen-year-old girl two of them against the one nine-year-old boy what do you suppose they uh... would go up to a nine-year-old boy slap him in the back of the head take a baseball bat and beat the fuck out of his bike i would suppose because they looked at him you know in one to five seconds they looked at him decided he was an undesirable because that's the world we live in now and as they decided he was an undesirable, they decided they could go ahead and co over and do this because he's not allowed to hit back. No, he's not allowed to hit back, but they can hit him. Yeah, because he's an undesirable. They decided so because their eyeballs told him so. Okay. Now the girl says, I tapped him on the head and I got arrested for it. <laughs> Yeah, well, your version of tapping on the head was probably a pretty hard hit. Okay. Yep, you got arrested for it. Well, you forgot to add that you beat the hell out of his bike with a baseball bat as well, didn't you? You forgot to add that you had your friend with you at the same time, didn't you? Okay. These are serious charges for t two 13-year-old girls. Police decided the charges to charge them with felonies. Normally, kids who bully don't get arrested. That's the problem. But police tell us they had no choice. 
the victim's family wanted to press charges and the felony fit the charges. That's right, the felonies charges fit the crime. Damn right, anyhow. Someone got to do something. That's that someone's got to do something, especially about bullying. Because it's getting out of hand. 100% agreed. I totally agree with that. Okay, it's getting out of hand. Let's see, deadly and deadly. Said the victim's family, which is so true. Now two girls are facing harsh punishment. I have house arrest, or house supervision. If I mess up again, I have to go to D.C. for five years, said the teen girl involved. I think it's justified. I think it's very much so justified a 13-year-old kid comes up to a 9-year-old boy, 9-year-old son, and smacks him. Yep, this is what the parent of the kid said. <coughs> In the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. In the back of smacked him as I tried to on the back of the head, smacked him up across the face. There you go. Smacked him in the back of the head, smacked him up across the face. She could have done a lot more damage to that to him and the victim's mother, okay, yes of course. Were not okay, or is not the punishment was too harsh. It is up to the judge to decide. The two teens arrested were taken to Mary Davis Juvenile Detention Center and were released to the today. There you go. Well, this needs to happen a whole lot more. I do not think the punishment's too harsh. Not considering if we flipped the fucking script on this and this would have been two 13-year-old boys who approached a 9-year-old girl, slapped her in the back of the head, slapped her upside the face, took a baseball bat, beat the fuck out of her bike, they would have been up on these charges too. And you wouldn't have nobody saying, is the buddies me too harsh? After all, they do got a penis between their legs. We all know that's what it's about. Nobody's stupid to that. It's all about, it's got, a, it's got a vagina between his legs. The punishment, should, that's too hard. I mean, after all, it does have a vagina between his legs, you know. And that's power, yeah. And they should get by with this, yeah. Yeah, all based on the fact they have a vagina, yeah. No, they shouldn't get by with this based on the fact they have a vagina. So no, the punishment's not too hard. The punishment is what's been needing to happen for a long, long, long time. Because it would happen to the boys. They would get punished just the way you're seeing. If this was flipped, well, this role was flipped around, and this would have been two 13-year-old boys doing this to a 9-year-old girl, the punishment would be just what you're seeing now, and nobody would be saying it's the punishment too hard at all. Nobody would. But of course, you got some dumb fucks out here. They're gonna go. Well, is the punishment too hard? After all, they have vaginas. That's why I said no, girls. The pussy pass is over. This needs to happen a whole lot more. I mean, a whole lot more. You need to be held accountable to your actions. That's right. Don't matter your age, you need to be held accountable to your actions just like you put on to a guy. Okay? You want to fucking go up and bully on a boy because the school taught you that boys can't hit girls. And because your eyeballs looked at him and stereotyped him out in one to five seconds? Yeah. You decided for him that he was an undesirable? And because you know that boys can't hit girls and you're bigger than him, there's two of you and there's one of him? Nobody's going to say anything if we go hit him. Isn't that sort of like the three girls who teamed up on that boy last year and took his pants and his underwear off out in public? That's right. Declothed him outside, basically made him naked or whatever, and laughed. Took a little short video of him and stuck it up on YouTube. 
as they bullied him. And then people thought they needed to stick up for the two girls for doing that too. But if that had been flipped around and two boys would have done that to a fucking little nine-year-old, ten-year-old girl and st stripped her down nude and filmed it and stuck it up on YouTube, would we hear uh, people trying to justify it then? No, we wouldn't. The only reason people tried to justify that shit is because they got a vagina between their legs. And that's why I said, the pussy passes over. This shit needs to come to a stop.